You're watching Sea Dogs TV. Tonight is the final regular season home game for three Sea Dogs who, over as overage players, will graduate from junior. And at this time, the Sea Dogs would like to recognize these players by presenting them with their final junior hockey jersey. To make these presentations, please welcome to the ice Sea Dogs head coach and general manager Jacques Beaulieu. After signing with St. John in late December, this hulking winger has emerged as a force to be reckoned with up front for the Sea Dogs these past few months. A native of Guelph, Ontario, this former OHLer has put up solid offensive numbers in the QMJHL while contributing mightily at both ends of the ice and administering his unique brand of rash physicality every time he steps on the ice. A great addition to the Sea Dogs this season, Harbor Station patrons will always value the contribution he was able to make to the team in only a few short months. Thank you, Shea Hewan, for having played with unrelenting passion and unwavering determination during your time here in St. John. Please welcome number 55, Shea Hewan. This talented forward originally arrived in the Port City as a free agent in December of 2006 and has been one of the Sea Dogs' most consistent offensive players during a successful two-and-a-half-year run with the team. Blessed with abundant natural abilities, this hard-working sportsman is within two points of a career century mark in the QMJHL, a tremendous accomplishment to say the least. In addition to producing strong numbers on the ice, this Welland, Ontario native has been one of the best student athletes in Sea Dogs history, scoring big marks in the classroom as an economics major at the University of New Brunswick. His significant achievements have been recognized league wide, and he is currently a finalist for the QMJHL Scholastic Player of the Year Award. Congratulations to Peyton Lisk on a memorable 134 games with the Sea Dogs, and here's hoping you get to play several more as the Sea Dogs ready for the 2009 President's Cup playoffs. Number 19, Peyton Lisk. And lastly, in June of 2005, the expansion St. John Sea Dogs took part in the very first QMJHL entry draft. Four years later, one of the players selected that weekend remains a big part of the franchise with whom he has spent four wonderful years. An invaluable part of the Sea Dogs since his team's very first victory, a team in which he scored two goals, this player has endeared himself to Harbor Station faithful throughout his unmistakable drive and dynamic on-ice abilities, while he is the all-time leading scorer and most games played with 247 and points at 217, the true value of Ryan Sparling to the St. John Sea Dogs franchise goes well beyond the score sheet. In addition to his tremendous achievements on the ice, Ryan has been an extraordinary ambassador for the team throughout his career, having logged 225 hours of community service in support of innumerable charities and causes. Number four has always embraced his duty as a role model to young people throughout southwestern New Brunswick. The most requested player to skate with in the history of the Irving Oil seventh player program, Ryan has clearly made a profound connection with his fans that will undoubtedly continue to flourish long after his tenure with the team has come to an end. To commemorate his time with the Sea Dogs, please direct your attention to the West End video wall. From Sydney, Nova Scotia, Plain Center, number four, Ryan Sparling. The only 
brave player to play four full seasons with the Sea Dogs. Please welcome to the ice your alternate captain, number four, Ryan Sparling.